Hey guys, I'm gonna try to keep my eyes on the road and watch where I'm going so I don't slip or fall, but I was just this Sunday morning walking on my way to work and praising the Lord, you know, worshiping in the spirit, all that beautiful stuff that is such a gift and a privilege to be able to do that. And I'm having Bible study at work with the residents today and it's about John 15, 5, the true vine. Apart from him, we can do nothing. He's the vine that goes wherever he wants and where the branches that branch off from him. But if we're not attached to him, if we don't remain in him, it's bad news. So likewise, I was like, Lord, thank you for the sunshine. It's not cloudy. The sun's rising over there. It's not this big burning ball of hydrogen and helium making you squint your eyes and put sunglasses on just yet. But almost, almost. And it's been so cold, like, this week it's going to be in the negatives at night and, like, zero during the day. And so I'm going to make this short because I had to take my glove off just to turn my phone on and my fingers are freezing. But, likewise, the only thing that's keeping us from being, you know, thrown into pitch black cold darkness is the sun. It's the sunshine. Without the sun, we would be nothing. You know, like without King Jesus, we would be nothing. Meditate on this today. Meditate on the power that this brings today. Because without our star and our solar system, there would be no gravity pulling us towards the sun. We would be a rogue planet. It would be colder than this. So much colder than this. So much colder. There would be no life. You hear that? Those are birds singing. There'd be no birds singing in the morning. There'd be no fish in the ocean swimming around glorifying God because he's so creative. There'd be no years. There'd be no seasons. I mean, there'd be nothing here. It would just be cold and dark. We would be wondering. We wouldn't have any direction. We wouldn't have a star to revolve around. There'd be no warmth, no light, no spring, no summer. And in the winter... I mean, it would just be like this and worse all the time. Without our star, planet Earth would be nothing. Without the vine, we would be nothing. We can do nothing without the Son of God. We can do nothing. And He's so much more powerful. He's so much more faithful than the rising and the setting of the sun. You know? And He's so much more stronger than a stubborn vine that wants to you know, get everywhere and spread through everything. The word of God is stronger. The son of God is more powerful than, than, than the rays of the sun. Did you know that if there was just a little tiny pin-sized piece of the sun next to you, you would have to be 90, 90 miles away just to be safe. 90 miles away. <sighs> just a tiny little pin-sized piece of the sun, you guys. Let's meditate on the truth of our existence, the truth of our reality, that we are sons of God, we are daughters of God, confident and strong, that we are filled with the all-powerful spirit of the creator, the God of the resurrection, who defeated death. We will live forever. We will be resurrected like these trees. When springtime comes, we will be resurrected for the grave. It's been defeated. And without him, we can do nothing. We can do nothing without him. And he says in the next verse, John 15, 6, that if we do not remain in him, then we'll be thrown into the fire. Remain in him today. Stay in his presence today. If you can't feel it, cry out to him. Sing to him. Praise him. And you will. You'll begin to feel his spirit again. He'll begin to fill you up again. Love him with all of your might. Love him with everything you do. Are you ready to let go of this world for him yet? Are you here for a purpose? Is he keeping you here? Or are you keeping yourself here? See, because once we let go of things, and the only thing we're holding on to is him, then we're here for a reason, his purpose. We should be here for the purposes of the kingdom, for the God's purposes, not our own desires, not our own goals and aspirations. Okay, we belong to him. You don't live anymore. It's him who lives through you. So what is he going to do today with your hands? What is he going to do today with your feet, with your mind, with your eyes, with your mouth? 
What is King Yeshua Jesus Christ going to be doing through you today as you meditate on his awesome, wonderful, amazing, fantastic goodness? <laughs> Hallelujah. I love you guys.